Welcome to my channel, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So today's video will go down a little bit differently than usual because uh, I started to work on something then I chickened out. I did not finish that piece and I used the material to create something else. So when we go down I am not going to show you the drawing because that's going to be part of the process. I start to work on the piece and then I come upstairs and make a new design. So let's go downstairs and I show you what is going on and why I chickened out. Mustard piece. So at the beginning of this video you will probably hear me talking about something that is never really come to reality. It is because I have changed my plans simply because the original product involved me cutting the finished product into pieces and when I started to work with this material I realized the wood grain on this piece is just incredible. It's probably the best wood grain I have ever seen and uh, I just I don't want to cut anything like this, especially not going to experiment on it. So let's get to it and uh, everything will become clear at the end. So I have this piece of sported beach and I hopefully I came up with an idea that is actually good but to be honest I keep changing my mind. Let's start to work on something and <laughs> let me see how it evolves. So even the second piece that I designed is not really your average wood turning piece but it's definitely way less extreme that I designed the first time and I am going to show you the drawing in a minute but uh, it takes time for me to realize that I am not going to cut this piece because it just doesn't worth it. The wood grain is just way too nice for that. So let's get back to the video and just keep watching. So this is the point when I start to notice the wood grain, but I still want to go with the original idea, but the seed of doubt it's already planted but at this point I still feel all right so the main body of the piece that I try to achieve here is kind of like a heart shape so it's off center the top is wider than the bottom it looks nice All right, let's hollow it out. Then we cut it and you freak out and some of you unsubscribe. Okay, let's do this.
that's about the wall thickness here I don't want to go any thinner than this because sported beach is soft I don't know how even the wall is I can't even put my finger in it that deep so I can't even just literally there is no way of me telling you how good job I done until I cut it and if I cut it that's it I can't do much about that anymore so okay this is several hours later and I realized if you watch me cutting this thing into half 90% of you will unsubscribe from my channel and probably 60% of you will stop food turning all together because you're just not ready for this so I decided not to cut this piece and I came up with a new design and this would be the new design this is a free piece no glue hollow form waist and there is a reason there is no glue in it I ran out <laughs> no that's not the reason I designed something that um, there is a surprise in it and I am going to show you later why there is no glue in this piece so this is an unfinished project I pour some epoxy on top just to fill in all the cracks and I am going to use this piece of wood to make the cap of the wheel I already have a mounting point so let's get to it So obviously I am not going to mess with the wood grain of the main body but I am going to paint black the mouth and the base of the vase and also the pins are going to be pretty much like black cherry so this is going to be the color of the pins and that is going to give me a nice contrast and interesting color all together hopefully going to be really nice and fancy okay let's continue all right so we are nearly finished and this is kind of the point when i normally lose you this is the point when you skip to the end and so i'm going to make it quick and easy on you let's continue oak let's make some kind of base
So I quickly made these pins as well. It's fairly easy to make. It's not very exciting to watch. And basically I have all the components now. So let's just put it together. And I am going to show you why we don't use any glue on it. So I am going to drill a hole through this and I can insert the pin and sorry guys but you are going to sit this one out. I usually show you when I do things like this but that means the camera I hold tools in an angle that I'm not supposed to like like this so you can see but with this one if I make a mistake and drill the hole in an awkward angle I ruin the whole thing so you won't get a close up on this one I'm afraid. So let me show you why there is no glue in this piece. I bought these lub tube style candy holders. These are plastic and I cut off the top. So now I have the lid inserted from the bottom and now it is waterproof. And if you want to change the water you just take it off, dip it to the sink, put it back on, use the pins to secure it in place. Mustard piece. Thank you for watching.